It's August 25th today. I'm in New Jersey. The majority of my time in the food forest now is spent harvesting and processing a lot of the food. I'm gonna go through, show you how everything's doing. Let's go. There's Percy. She's such a good chicken. So we got a nice extra harvest this year from planting on the outside of the garden. And I've got the chickens coming around, they can't scratch anything. The chicken proof planting. Got some basil, more basil. Got some nice cucumbers growing here. This is that long variety. All these tomatoes on the outside, this ones are self seeded, came up on their own. So I'm not sure exactly what variety it is. Nice looking tomato though. Good flavor too. So I'm just on this fence, and on the outside we're getting nice uh, production. I remember we already grew some peas and stuff here earlier. I see more cucumbers. The amount of cucumbers we've harvested this year is amazing. And a lot of ones are finishing up over here, but we'll get something else planted right in here. So I'm gonna have to come through and harvest some stuff. I got so much stuff to harvest and go through, but let me bring you inside the food forest. Finally, the raspberries are ripe. So it's nice just coming out here, eating all these. I love raspberries, especially if you get them either early in the morning or a little later when they're cool. But early in the morning is the best. So a lot of them are loaded. Usually the ones hanging the lowest are the ones that are that got the most fruit on them. This one looks like it might have some nice ones. Mm. A little small that one, but there's a lot of raspberries on these. And some of the tomatoes are gearing up for the next round. Some are ripe and ready. And more. These ones are really good. I'm gonna grow these again next year. I like them a lot. So juicy. Mm. I really gotta come through and harvest more of these pears. And the grapes, Concord grapes, I'm gonna be harvesting those today. So I gotta come through and harvest them. Let me show you how much the grape, the uh, birds have been doing some work on them. So all the purple is what we really would have gotten had the birds not gone to town, but within the last day, they really have just the birds and the hornets and everything. Look how many hornets and stuff are up here. They're just like poking it all of them. So I gotta come through and harvest them today. I'm gonna do that. We've got some other grapes I'm gonna harvest. And look, we still got beautiful strawberries growing underneath that. And they'll come through and mat this whole ground again by next spring. They're already coming through. Look at the new ones, the young ones. And they'll be real productive. And uh, some of these pots are getting good production out of them. The yellow, gray, uh, yellow raspberries, doing real well still. I love these ones. And the grapes over here, getting some grapes. These are ripening up. So I have some of these. And then, mm, real good. The Niagara grapes, the green grapes are finished. So I'm gonna start harvesting them today because uh, the birds are starting to hit, the, hit those too. They're hitting the green ones, even the Niagara's. So we'll start picking some really nice ones in here too. And uh, another variety is also ripening right here. He's got some nice sets on them. The birds haven't found these or the insects. They're all working on the concords. And these ones have an incredible flavor. Mm. Seeded too. So I'll probably make some jam of the concords. Make some jam of that. I think that's, it might be a guitar, but I'm not positive. Or some jelly and that'll be really delicious. And uh, the peppers look like they're starting to 
turn a little color. They're starting to change beet and pepper soon. I know these green ones over here are starting to change colors. So that's good. Can't wait to have some stuffed peppers and some fresh ones. More hot peppers. And this bobcat tomato is just getting so heavy. I can't, I can't keep them up. They're just so heavy. And the hazelnuts. Yes, we are getting hazelnuts. Look how many we got. So cool. I'm going to be harvesting them. Look how many. They're all over. They're littered in the ground. Look at them. They're back there. I had no clue that there was this many on the bush or on the tree, and there's still a good amount more. But everywhere on the ground, you can see. Look at all of them. They're just falling. Very cool. So I'm going to come through and pick those. And I've been eating them, and they're delicious. The hazelnuts inside of them. Get one. Yeah, so. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come through and pick all these up. And I know there's even more over here. Oh wow, loaded over here. Look at all those in the ground. This is gonna be a lot of fun just coming through and picking these. And these, I talked about them before, were so super delicious. And uh, that one came up on its own too. Persimmon dropped its fruit. I don't know. What, I'm not sure what happened with that, but we'll find out for next year. And one last pair. I had to save it. I can't wait to come out and eat that. The final one of the year. I'm going to save everybody that one. And this hazelnut, I haven't seen any, any on the ground, really. I saw a couple on the tree. Here, here's one. Looks like it's bigger nuts on this one. Yeah, so next year, hopefully, we get a good production out of it. All right, look at this cucumbers growing across. That's fun. Look underneath here. Some cucumbers. They're finishing up, though. They're on their way out. You can tell by the leaves. They're on their last set of fruit. The amount of cucumbers they produce this year is just blowing me away. I'm going to have to do another harvest video, like I said, to show you guys. Just how much we're getting. And the zooks are doing good. Got some zucchinis already. Here's the mailbox that we just put in. There's a new video on that. And the tomatoes. Ready for that next round. Be harvesting some of those. Everything's just doing really well. As we're moving, getting ready to move into the next season, into fall and stuff, I've got some stuff going. Uh, in cups and stuff already. I'm going to be transplanting some stuff out probably soon. Getting ready for the fall. Got some of that kale back there. We'll get more kale in and uh, lettuces and all that kind of stuff. And getting decent production from back here. Still, peppers are turning too. And zucchinis are looking beautiful. Be getting some more zucchinis. There's another little guy forming there. And the last round of cucumbers from back here. Honey bunch grape, probably the healthiest looking tom tomato on the property. And it's not afraid to just hold up some cucumbers too. Really cool. Back over to the raspberries now in this new, this new peach tree. This one, I'm gonna tell you now, this is gonna be a good peach tree for us in the future. My neighbor has this variety and it's done well for him. And this one is, that tree's looking really healthy. It's gonna be a great tree for us. And the cherries just are looking like sad. They're looking like they want to go into dormancy already. But they'll be okay. They always bounce back. We're getting some good production back in this corner here. And actually some of these orange tomatoes are look like they're starting to ripen up. More cucumbers back here like usual. Uh, there's a big one I missed and two of them back there. Three of them actually. It's fun back here. It's like... Every time I come back here, I find something else. It's like uh, everywhere you turn. And green beans here. Green beans here. Cucumbers here in the tray. Some of them already uh, finished the green beans. That's why I just can't keep up with them. Look at that. Look how many are in there. 
So they're just gonna be dropping seed again and growing again next year. Oh my gosh, look at this in here. I didn't even see this cucumber. You gotta be kidding me. That is really cool looking. Have to get a picture of that one. And the peppers. A couple of peppers ready. I'm gonna have to harvest those and some more orange tomatoes ready in the back. Loads of cherry tomatoes ready here. Looking good and some more of those uh, tomatoes I was looking at just a minute ago. The sweet treats. Looking real good. The plant looks like that because I just uh, came up and folded it up because it was laying down here a little too much. And cucumbers growing in the tree. Gonna have to harvest this guy too. Look at the size of this goji berry. This thing has so many berries on it. I'm gonna be drying them out. I hear they taste the best like that. The bees like the flowers. So I've never even watered this thing since I got it, I don't think. For a little bit it was looking, looking like it wasn't doing too well. Then it just turned the corner when we got some rain and stuff. Look at that. Nice production. Those are getting close too. And I showed you last time another one came up here. And zucchinis and the cucumbers, the new cucumbers we just planted are all have ripe cucumbers on them in there. So I'm gonna have to harvest those too. And the green beans are everywhere. Look up to my left. Green beans, green beans, next to goji berries, everything just growing together. Now just about getting out of here. Well, there's a cucumber there. I must have harvested it and didn't grab it. I just grabbed a few of them when I was out here earlier. They were just too big. And a couple of zucchinis that I let get past. But man, the food forest really is in high production. Such a good time to be out here. I can spend all day out here. I love bringing you guys along and showing you just how everything's doing. I appreciate the support. And you guys can have this. This isn't, this isn't tough. I didn't do anything special here. Get the right system in. Be patient. Plant every day. Get out here and plant something. Get out, grow, learn. I don't care if you're gonna be moving in the property in a year. Grow some stuff. Learn about growing food. Educate yourself. Empower yourself. Take control of your own health. What we'll do together. Look at this. All this food growing underneath trees in shaded spots. So don't listen to what the the uh, food system tells you, what the agricultural system tells you. All their lies. Look at nature. Learn from nature. And we can all just be growing our own food. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below if you think there's something else that I should grow in the food forest next year. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.